One of the biggest names to ever emerge from the 60s art scene was that of eccentric photographer, film director, and music producer, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol was born on August 6, 1928, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, to parents who immigrated to the United States from the Austria-Hungary area. When he was in third grade, he was bedridden for a time due to complications from a rare disease called Korea. During that time, he collected pictures of movie stars, listened to music, and spent his time drawing and photography, which Warhol said was a very important time in his life in the terms of his artistic development. When his father died in an accident, his will dictated that his life savings go toward Andy's education. He was an accomplished writer as a teenager, and Warhol originally wanted to be an art teacher but changed his mind in university. He dropped the A from his last name and landed a job with Glamour magazine. Andy Warhol would become one of the most successful commercial artists of the 1950s, winning several awards for his work. By the late 50s, he debuted the concept of what he called pop art, which was his style of painting mass-produced commercial goods. His work depicted images of vacuum cleaners, Coca-Cola bottles, and one of his most famous paintings, the 1962 Campbell Soup Can, which today is worth an estimated $11.8 million. He also painted celebrities in surreal and vivid colors like Marilyn Monroe, Mick Jagger, and Liz Taylor. His portrait, called The Eight Elvises, resold in 2008 for $100 million, which makes it one of the most valuable paintings ever created. In 1964, Andy Warhol had his own studio called The Factory, and he began to throw wild parties with New York's richest and most influential celebrities at the time. He was also a regular member of Studio 54 and spent time with A-list celebrities like Freddie Mercury, Debbie Harry, and Truman Capote. Andy's life was going extremely well, until it was nearly ended with an assassination attempt in 1968. A scriptwriter and radical feminist named Valerie Solanas shot Andy Warhol after being ejected from the factory over a movie script. It was temporarily misplaced at the time and she returned the next day and shot him three times, missing twice but hitting him once in the chest. Solanas went to jail for three years after being diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. Andy survived but had to wear a surgical corset for the rest of his life. The 1970s were quiet for Warhol and he was criticized for becoming a business artist compared to the 80s when Andy re-emerged as an artistic force to be reckoned with. He is quoted as creating the everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes statement and Andy Warhol had his. But his time ended on February 22, 1987 when he died in his sleep following surgery. Andy Warhol's artwork is still recognized and massively successful, with his pieces selling for millions of dollars, even as of today.